Well, welcome to Dillard, Georgia, and we're here to pick a barrel. Well, actually, we're here with uh, McFarland 400 and Turtle Creek, and they're going to pick a barrel, and we're going to show you how they do it. So come along with us to Dillard and the R.M. Rose Distillers. down to about 70 proof, give or take. And that's what we'll put in the barrel. The, um, the, the high proof is called the head. It's about two gallons of it. You can't drink it. You can run your lawnmower, but that's about it. It's high, high proof. And we keep it in the small tanks, and then the tail is the last bit of it, down to about 20 proof. Once it gets 20 proof, we shut it off. Um, that goes in the tall tank. Now, we don't like throwing anything away. So we're very resourceful. We'll reuse these and put them back in, and this is the thumper right here. They call it the thumper because when it gets hot, it's hard to make the thumping sound until you level it out. Um, but the way it all starts is with our grain. And we don't keep a lot of it up here. Uh, we keep most of it down in Mount Airy where we have our bottling facility. Um, but what, what we do is we keep our grain here. Everything's done by time, weight, and temperature. It's gotta be precise. Uh, and if you look in this vat right here, um, I cooked this last night. This is a 98% uh, rye. So it's going to be a rye whiskey. Uh, but check that out. That, that bad boy is starting to ferment. Yeah, it gets smell that. Yeah. We, we've never done uh, that high of rye before. Um, we were contracted to do a malted rye for a good friend of ours up in Chattanooga. He loves our 100-gallon pot still. The flavor you get out of this is, I believe, some of the best. Um, but right there, um, so I cooked it last night, um, added the yeast to it, and this morning, that's where we're at. Now, this is gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, normally, a, a corn recipe will ferment for about five days, and then we're, we're ready to start running it. This is a little more slow. This needs about two weeks. So for two weeks, this ain't going to be blood, bubbling and bubbling. Eventually, it will stop, and um, it will get clear. And then when, that's, when, that, when that hits that point, we're ready to start distilling it. So uh, we cook it. Um, depending on the recipe, this only took an hour and a half to cook. Some recipes uh, take a little bit longer, just, again, depending on the mix. Um, we, we've got recipes that range from a 36% ride to down to um, a 16% rye. We've got some that are uh, weeded, that are 8% wheat all the way up to 45% wheat. So we kind of run the gamut. Um, there's a lot of recipes out there on the market people are in favor of, and we just kind of stick to some of those. But then Andy will throw his twist and, and spin into it. Um, on the wall behind you there is a plaque. That's Andy's dad. He's still alive. He's around 83 years old. Um, he was inducted in the Moonshine of Hall of Fame. So back in the day, uh, his dad was a bootlegger, and he had his first still when he was 14 years old. So he got him started early. Um, they grew up in Sugar Hill, and that back in the day, that was country back, uh, back up in Sugar Hill, it's kind of like Dawsonville. Um, but, um, but his dad uh, got in trouble, got caught, um, and when you want to open a distillery, you can't have any family members that have been arrested for bootlegging. <laughs> they don't like that. So Andy had to go through the process of getting his dad's record of sponge, which he did. And, uh, and so now uh, Andy started the company back in uh, 2011, started all this in 2016. So it took him time to, to figure out how to do it and, what, and, uh, and how to roll it out. Um, any questions so far? Do you guys use your tails to blend with your hearts to get the proof down? We will. We'll do that from time to time. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'll this from the tails? Yes, sir. Yeah. And then what, what we like to do is we'll put it in the thumper. Sure. And, and that way it kind of blends back in with it. Um, so everything starts in, in a mash, cooks it up, goes to the fermenting. From the fermenting, goes into the pot still. We get this thing about 200 degrees and it starts cranking. Um, we level it out around 200, and so all of that mash is turning in here with the auger, it's creating a massive amount of steam. So the steam comes up into the thumper, and this basically is a pressure cooker. Adds more pressure, more heat, more steam, 
and then it comes over here to the cooling tank and it comes through the coals. We, uh, we have water that runs through this, so it cools it down. So voila, you got liquid, uh, liquid, li liquid <laughs> which is spirits. So it starts off as a mash, steam, back to liquid. And, uh, and so we'll, we'll run it, we'll capture it, and then uh, once we're done with all four, we'll do it one more time. And then we're ready to barrel it. Uh, we generally barrel between 110 to, uh, to 120. Occasionally we'll do a 125, but that's, that's the max you can go. Um, over the years, we bought barrels from different cooperages. Uh, there's Gainesville Cooperage, which is local. Uh, they've got great wood. Uh, we've been buying from them, having some good success. Uh, a lot of our barrels come out of Avon, Minnesota, and we've had a lot of success there. Um, you know, with, with the advent of bourbon taking off, barrels, the price has gone up. And you know it's it's been a little tricky trying to find some uh, at the right price because you know we all know this is a price driven market everything's price driven um, from the grain uh, to the bottles to the labels so we got to be really you know as careful as we can and once you make the product it takes a while to make get your money back because <laughs> it's got to sit for a couple of years once it sits then you're like all right uh, depending on what we're going for whether we're going for a product that is just a price point driven product or one that's a little more expensive just because of age so this is the whole operation um, of the distilling side of it um, right behind you i'll point out something real quick all right that that contraption right there and i'm going to have y'all try this before you leave we're we're and ding some vodka um, andy made a vodka he called it coolie vodka and it was good um, but we wanted to make it better so what we've done is we've distilled seven times and now we're filtering and we're filtering at a high high level um, it, it takes quite a bit of time but i think the results are amazing it's almost like water when you run it through charcoal charcoal basically takes that edge off the alcohol continues to purify it it's like a brita water fil filters it just continues to make it better and better so i have got something special for y'all to try and you can be brutally honest if you like it you do if you hate it you hate it it doesn't matter to me i just want feedback so that's what keeps us distillers uh, doing the right thing is get everybody's right opinion on on it whether it's good bad or indifferent um now if y'all want we'll come back in here i've got some food for us i'm going to set out some stuff um i'll set it out first but um i hope i've got enough seats for everybody but make yourself at home we got uh, restrooms on the on the end right there but i'm going to set a few things out and we'll get started Come on in. Uh, it's down on the left. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my Went ahead and pre-drilled this and just pop it in here. <laughs> See if I can get out in one good whack. Oh, they, they make it seem so easy yeah, on they the do. internet. They, uh... There we go. One good whack. And then I'll uh, I'll get a cup here to thieve it out. I've got my copper thief. <laughs> Yeah, 
to the package that got cracked open in the 17 year have Yes. So to your point, yes, we're, we're all about it. We just want to share what we want to enlighten people. We want to have a good time. Right. Yep. So we'd love to have you. Uh, what barrel is this? All right, this is barrel number uh, 3602. It's 36% uh, rye. It's six years, I believe, um, three months. I'll double check the date on that, but it's over six years. And I'm going to check the proof. Uh, about a $5,000 instrument. So um, it'll check at uh, 60 degrees, which, you know, we're close to that, plus or minus. So you just uh, bring some of the juice into the chamber. And we'll let it kind of just work its way down or up. So once the, the last two numbers start playing around, going up and down, we're pretty much there. So 115 point, well, she's still moving. All right, 115.03. Okay. That was the first thing you cast when you put it in your judge. Yeah. Was it over here? No, what was the match build again? Uh, Never mind, I see it. I see it. 6036 4. Okay. 60 corn, 36 rye, uh, 4 multiple. That's what that's for. Yeah. And uh, that's the barrel of 3602. I'm usually not a rye guy. That, I like that. See? That, 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 uh, barrel number 3604. 36 rye. Gotcha. Yep. You want to tie? Sure. <laughs> okay. A suggestion of where you think it, it's at right now? I I'm telling you right now, you can just sit here all day and smell this. It's got such an amazing aroma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Getting here tends to die down, maybe six. Gets die down around four-ish, three or four. And it stays somewhat consistent. Now the little barrels are a little different. <clears throat> they evaporate a little quicker, but the proof is higher. Yeah. And, um, you know, Andy, when I, <laughs> uh, I've known Andy forever. And um, I used to do um, corporate health care insurance. Go kill yourself. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. And I sucked at it. I was hard at it. <laughs> You better hold on. <laughs> I didn't know this would go up that high. <laughs> oh, that's magic. Mm -hmm. No, this is uh, Andy Sutton, master distil a distiller. <laughs> I call him master of disaster. He's great at everything. He can fix anything. Used to be a race car driver. He got so good, they had to find a way to kick him out. That's another story I'll let you tell about. But uh, oh, you're having a good time, Andy. We, uh, That's good. Uh, we, we go ahead and try barrel 173, which is the four grain okay. uh, special recipe. We just did uh, barrel 3602. Uh, and that's the, the uh, 36 rye. We're going to try one more rye. Now, it's not as, as heavy rye. If you don't like rye, no worries. Um, I can skip you. But, um, but I want you to just try the subtle differences. Uh, sometimes they're dramatic. Um, uh, this doesn't have as much spice in it. Uh, and then we'll work our light down a few more here for you. But, Andy, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself and how your dad got thrown in jail and how yeah. you 
You ready to come through all that craziness? And I was, but like I say, I was born and raised in Sugar Hill. Everybody know where Sugar Hill was. Oh, yeah. so back that's when it was a small town, you know. But like I say, uh, I was born and raised there. My dad, he was a moonshiner all his life, and I learned a little bit from him back in the '60s and uh, early '70s. And uh, he got thrown in jail in 1974 in Gwinnett County. So he's still living. He's 89 years old. Still lives in Flower Branch. He's driving. He still drives. Uh, he couldn't make it today. But maybe next time. He was feeling a little down today. So. But uh, my history, uh, I was always a carpenter. I made a little bit of uh, moonshine back when I was younger too, but never really sold it, you know, on the market or nothing illegal like that. I made it for me and my friends, but, but that was illegal. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. Yeah. So I think a statute of limitations is done being. So, so I'll, I'm turning, I'll be 65 May the 29th. So got to sign up for my Medicare. <laughs> It's got a little more heat to it. I'm just gonna say that. Go back to it. Again, nice, beautiful, dark color on it. She's at 140.12, 139.8, 139. Okay, number three. Y'all are on the island, Number four, yeah, you can go twice. Number four. Oh, just smelling it? Two, number three, number four. Oh, five, number four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two. 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 But there's one more. I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 80's, 80's got some. Charlie's got some. If y'all want to try anything else, you can. Um, well, this has been a blast. Yeah, I, I was not expecting this. Thank you very thank much you. for your thank hospitality. Y'all oh, yeah. 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 hang out. Can we actually, before everybody leaves, can I get a group picture of everyone? Yeah. Here? Yeah. You want? Uh, you want to take? Want to try to do it outside? Yeah. Can we do it outside? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah.